it's good to see people who would like to uh, win uh, up to 20,000 US dollars uh, this second so we have really nice bounties. Uh, but first of all, I would like to introduce who we are, um, why we are here, and uh, why you should uh, build on top of one inch network to, to the end tomorrow. So, uh, who we are, uh, I am also a hacker. Uh, back 2018, I started with my co-founder Anton Bukov to travel around the globe. Uh, first hackathon was uh, December, 2018, I met Vitalik Buterin, I, uh, I met a lot of other people and found out it's cool, it's really cool. I had already like 15, 16 years of software engineering experience but never participated in hackathon and found out we can build with London over just tonight something which uh, can win a prize and we can so f uh, pay for our airplane tickets, uh, for uh, hotels. Uh, actually, we almost never needed a hotel because we were staying all, always on a venue. Uh, also, when we built a one-inch first protocol back in 2019 in May, we didn't sleep. I didn't sleep 56 hours, so it was quite hard. But uh, you see, uh, nowadays we have um, a huge set of um, protocols. We started with the aggregation protocol, then we have built liquidity protocol. Uh, we came to our DAO, uh, our token was launched by the foundation back in 2020. We have built our self-custody wallet uh, because we didn't find the proper wallet out there. Also, the MetaMask was really terrible and from our point of view, I know, still there are issues with other wallets. That's why we just have different teams working on, on the space to just not compete, but improve and add value to the space. Um, we have our limit order protocol, it's fully decentralized one um, based on signature, similar to Xerox and other approaches, but highly efficient. Uh, we introduced our Fusion uh, December last year. We did a uh, hackathon over one month with our people uh, in Dubai. They got uh, breakfast, uh, lunch and uh, dinner, spa, gym, pool, family could come. So we just tried to to create such an environment which you uh, meet here at ETH Global. I got on and it worked. Uh, we were able to deliver in just one month the fusion and uh, we were really happy about that. Nowadays we are also working on institutional products. We try to enter the space of uh, traditional finances and improve the settlements, for example, with our swaps, with our aggregation. Um, like we are like three years old, I would say. The project almost four years old. Uh, the first year we just were working with Anton in the nights. I was working for Porsche and he for Near Protocol. And one day we raised money. So in total we raised like 190 million of US dollars and uh, continue to develop new products uh, to ship new, new, new innovations. We keep 70% of the aggregation market share. Uh, this market we created actually in the hackathon. We came to the idea how to uh, make a swap more efficient by aggregating among decentralized exchanges and choose based on specific algorithm uh, only those pools which make sense um, to use as a liquidity source. So at the end, uh, the user get the be best uh, rate. Limit orders uh, market share is about 80 percentage. This huge we achieved like in just one year uh, from zero to uh, to 80 percent of the market share and, and uh, overtook zero X and other protocols. We have four and a half million of wallets who are using one inch protocols. It's not huge, but at the end, like you can see in the left corner, they generate 330 billions of US dollars since 2019. And we have 180, actually more, 180 core contributors around the globe, uh, like freelancers who are full time working on, uh, on one inch network um, protocols. So we see DEX volume continues to grow. And uh, it, it looks like we, are, we can overtake yeah? uh, centralized exchanges because uh, decentralized exchanges are more efficient than centralized. So you don't have to trust anyone. You just uh, interact with the smart contract. You have no intermediates except validators, of course. Um, and this is room to grow for us all here uh, who is uh, developing Web3 space. But we have current limitation defense space. We have uh, unfavorable um, swap rates, we have meth attacks. I first, my like, pain, really painful meth attack last year when uh, Ethereum dropped to 1000. I had 
because of tax reasons, I had to sell my Ethereum to buy again. So to just declare loss in my um, tax report. And I was front run. I lost 10 Ethereum, it was really painful for me. So I could use this money just to, 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 for my daughter or I can do like for charity or whatever. But some, some attackers got it. So, and I went to, to our teams and I said like, guys, it doesn't work. We, we, need, we need solution for this. And then we came to the idea with the fusion. We'll explain it a little bit later. Um, and of course we have problem in Web3 space that the user experience is very complicated, still very complicated. We from our side, we try to improve the world. We, we have really nice UX, UI. Now we have this kind of meta transactions with uh, Fusion. Uh, it improves, but still there's a lot of things to, 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 to build. To the problems, um, front running attacks. So someone see your transaction and do something before you, extract value from this. The math attacks are like if someone don't know how it works uh, in, in terms like uh, math. Someone is monitoring the, the uh, um, mempool and uh, uh, analyze, make it sense to exchange before you, to, to exchange after you, to extract value from, from your trade. If you, for example, exchanging directly on Uniswap. Um, so someone is doing this and they make a lot of money. Uh, back in 2022, 20, they just earned one and a half billions of US dollars just by out of thin air, how US government says nowadays. <laughs> so I just saw uh, like around 10 percentages of, of, uh, of the transactions. So, uh, and now you have two ways. You have the uh, thorny path with using DEXs directly. You don't get the best rate. You, you don't know really where the liquidity is concentrated. Um, and uh, you don't know where, where the token is listed, and uh, you, ma you face also the uh, math attacks, you face the uh, front running attacks. Um, so, this is not really efficient, and that's why we from our side we call it turning pass, uh, like Black Forest, and you don't know what, what can, uh, which animal can, can attack you in the next time. And we try to build the other, other side, yeah, uh, where we come to. Um, to uh, uh, our fusion, and uh, but but before I would like to explain once again about the aggregation itself. Maybe not, if it's not clear for everyone. Um, I, I know some some people are, of you are very advanced, uh, but some people still like just know that I can go to Uniswap and just exchange there. Uh, There's more. Yeah, we we came to the idea with Anton to aggregate among decentralized exchanges and multiple liquidity sources. Right now we have on Ethereum more than 25,000 uh, liquidity sources. Each smart contract with liquidity is on liquidity source. So um, at the beginning we just exchange on one market, just for example Ethereum to DAI. Uh, but it makes no sense to just use one market because if you exchange hundreds of thousands of US dollars, maybe 10,000 of US dollars, it makes sense to use also other markets like USDT market, USDC market. Uh, Ethereum to, to something else. So in this case, you see Ethereum to CUSDT, this is a compound USDT. Uh, actually, Pathfinder, our algorithm Pathfinder can also build a path to just uh, put Ethereum into USDT landing pool of compound, for example. So in this case, we use uh, market makers who are also integrated in our um, uh, aggregation protocol and, uh, and routing. We have Uniswap, we have SushiSwap, you see part Part we exchange to DAI, part we exchange through USDC. From USDC we go to USDT, and from DAI we go also to USDT. And then at the end, the user get the best experience, like best, best experience and best execution rate, uh, because we actually did an arbitrage, just actually an arbitrage algorithm which we are, uh, are, are using. Um, so Fusion, this is new, new approach, uh, how to exchange uh, assets uh, nowadays. It works very well on Ethereum, since uh, when you do the transaction by yourself, if you do this transaction by yourself, uh, and the amount is higher than around 10,000 US dollars, someone will front run you. Some, someone will sandwich you, and you will lose a um, good, um, of, good of amount of money. In normal cases, like 50 bips, what you will lose. And this is not how it should be. And Fusion solved this problem. 
uh, Fusion is based on our limit order protocol. Uh, you, you just give a signature that you're okay to exchange one asset against another asset in a specific amount and you would like to exchange for specific rates, not just for one specific rate, like you, if you do a normal limit order. This uh, is a kind of, uh, this is a specific uh, grid, uh, we call it, which use the current market liquidity because our, algor our algorithm knows exactly how many tokens are where and which rates you get for which amounts, for which pairs. This way we can build such a nice grid and you see the price go going down from the current Oracle price and goes down to the current market rate if you do market swap. So when you do market swap, you face a price impact. So you get less than you have originally because liquidity uh, is not uh, really huge and uh, every DEX needs to earn something. Yeah, Uniswap earns like different pools, 30 BIPs, 1 BIP, 5 BIP, uh, 100 BIPs. So, um, of course, our algorithm can optimize this, but um, yeah, still, still it's kind of difficult um, here uh, to achieve the, the, the best, best execution. So we, we, we were thinking, why, not, why, why should we do a Dutch auction um, in linear? We, we could just use discrete, which comes directly from, from the liquidity amount uh, from, from, from the current network. So in this case, someone exchanges, real case, 3,700 Ethereum to USDT and they got 2,345 bucks more compared to if they would just uh, execute it by themselves. Uh, theoretically, she, she would face the meth attack, would get actually less. And also if they wouldn't face the meth attack because they would use maybe RPC of flashbots or our rabbit hole um, RPC endpoint, which protects people as well from front running attacks. Um, anyway, uh, this execution was better because we, ha we see these partial fields. You see here small partial fields, these are green, green points. Arbitrage traders, when they see such uh, arbitrage opportunity, they go and hedge on position of centralized exchanges. They are exchanges also with own liquidity. Um, also, they hedge with other networks as well. For example, if you're buying a Polygon, like Matic token, they potentially they will exchange it like hedge the position, make a trade in the reverse direction and um, another network where they see more liquidity and, and come back to, to Ethereum to arbitrage back. Uh, and actually we allow over time to sell specific amount of tokens by giving a chance to arbitrage trade to arbitrage this trade. That's why it's, it's better than just mm, doing a market to market uh, trade. Actually, market makers are selling uh, tokens over weeks, months, and uh, theoretically you can also set up with a custom mode, you can set an order to sell it uh, in uh, maybe two days. Because you have a shit token, it's not super liquid, but there, there's some liquidity on centralized exchanges. And then if you set such an order, arbitrage trader try to, to, to arbitrage among centralized um, uh, exchanges and different networks and also centralized exchanges. Um, how it works under the hood, uh, it's very important to understand. Uh, it is kind of auto book. Um, some people are switching, like swapping in one direction, the other in the other direction, Ethereum to USDC, USDC to Ethereum, then uh, our resolvers who are able to settle the trades can match these orders. That's why it's also sometimes very efficient to use also Fusion because they are also other people who would like to, to, to exchange tokens maybe in the reverse direction. And um, so the resolvers, these are professional market makers. Um, we have a special game theory for tokenomics. We changed it recently also in December to get a fusion release. You need to stake one inch tokens to get unicorn power. This unicorn power decreases in time based on the bunny curve. It means you have to maintain all the time to, to, to have almost one token to one unicorn power. So, and with this unicorn power, you can become a resolver. Or you can ask someone to delegate the unicorn power to you to become to, to, to became top 10 resolver. On, only top 10 resolver can execute the, uh, the, the settlement. So the settlement is done through smart contracts, fully in this decentralized manner, fully permission, permissionless in terms of uh, everyone can send the order, but in permission manner, the only specific resolvers who were selected by the community or had enough uh, unicorn power 
uh, they can settle the, the trades and, uh, and have the chance to arbitrage among centralized exchanges already said um, decentralized exchanges also with all liquidity there are market makers like Wintermute trading with all liquidity and providing better rates than you can get on Uniswap because they can hedge positions they can use options in the background to, to, to just kind of hedge so uh, what is important US user you just sign a like permit yeah you sign a message you send it in a network uh, and you don't pay any gas uh, with the execution of course there, there are some gas costs costs market makers resolvers need to execute it somehow on small amounts if you use fusion you will just get a little bit less uh, destination token for example if you're exchanging you ethereum to usdc you would get just a little bit less usdc because the rate would be worse than if you execute by yourself but anyway you you, you get the same uh, if you send the transaction in legacy mode by yourself you do the um, this aggregation thing by yourself you pay the gas cost yeah in ethereum and in a fusion mode resolver pays the gas cost and they take into account how much they pay and if it's prof prof profitable for them if it's not profitable of course no one will take it but we set the um, orders we, we have presets we set specific price ranges in the terms that it's executed very fastly so math protection i said already how it works um how to integrate uh, the fusion itself you have a nice sdk written uh, javascript um I'm sorry if someone would like to contribute to write like to write a SDK in other languages. You are welcome to ask for a grant. Uh, we have a nice DAO, and uh, 18 millions of US dollars in a DAO to distribute for those people who contribute to one each network. You can write in Python, for example. So how uh, how to get a quote? It's, it's simple. You use the SDK. Uh, There's a nice method get quote. You, you form your request and you you get the quote. Uh, what is the current market rate? market return of the token pair and the amount you would like to exchange so it means you can just easily build a own ui which is maybe more user friendly than ours or you, you, you build a specific product which use fusion under the hood uh, to maybe rebalance a bundle of assets or something so you can place an order it's also very 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 easy uh, sdk with the proper endpoint network um, we have also nice documentation i will show you where to find it you can get all orders maybe you can build something what analyze orders or maybe uh, filters to orders uh, based on specific criteria or you build an uh, explorer for for one each network like uh, fusion explorer it's also one thing what you you can get uh, maybe a, a grant here um, and also you can apply maybe for a grant at the DAO to, to work on that maybe full time so you can scan the QR code you will get the documentation and um, I have still a little bit of time. I would like to show you how it works. And of course, you can get in touch with us uh, anytime. We are also here uh, downstairs uh, on the ground level. We have a booth. You're welcome to come. Um, also, to get such chips, I can a little bit later distribute. There are some one inch tokens so you can play around with the fusion mode and exchange it in fully uh, gasless manner. So, I will, I will show you how it works. So, we have. Um, here our uh, one inch and I would like to use our one inch wallet to connect so now I need to find the proper wallet one sec yeah this one and we can use one inch wallet connect so very easy connected and now I have some uni Uniswap tokens which I would like to sell and I would maybe sell it to USDC so by default we have leg legacy mode because on smaller amounts you can send the transaction by yourself pay for the gas costs uh, and you will not face the math attack because it's not profitable for the maths under, under estimated 1000 bucks but anyway, if you have no Ethereum in your wallet, you can still perform the um, uh, trade because Uni supports permit. Permit is just uh, allowance uh, signature which you give from your wallet and we will do it now. So we have auto mode, which is in three minutes. The expiration time is in three minutes. So 
with the um, which gets in, which takes into account the gas costs for the arbitrage for the resolvers and arbitrage traders. So, so we ensure that that rate will be executed. So I get the notification that I have to give a permission, and now I have to sign the swap. And you see here, uh, we have uh, pending status, we have expiration time, uh, we have uh, three minutes something, we give like 20 seconds for, for, for people to sign, because sometimes people are too slow, they need to use Ledger or hard other hardware wallets. So, and uh, it should be executed in the next 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. So you see, you, you, you will receive 500, at least 529 USDC. Because gas costs right now are very expensive on Ethereum. Of course, we are supporting other networks, so you can work with other networks. Uh, we have Arbitrum, and um, and uh, we, we are, you don't pay a lot of a lot of money. So in meantime, as long as it's uh, in a in a pending process, um, compared to, le to legacy mode, if you send the transaction by yourself, anyway, you have to wait. Sometimes, if you use market gas price, you wait maybe 30 seconds until. The transactions included in the in, in the block, so it's similar here. Uh, for small amounts, for bigger amounts, you have huge profit, like huge benefits uh, by using fu fusion. I already explained. We have nice um, doc portal. You can find you can find it here under more documentation, and uh, you get uh, kind of deeper insights uh, how this how how it's set up, how it works, how to become became a resolver. Um, and we have also nice uh, SDK repository. You can um, you can also walk through all the examples, real real examples. There are some auction calculators, um, um, and um, yeah, and to to the bounties, um, to the bounties. So we have um, the first task where we say we would like to see someone to build on top of one each fusion integrate it how you want uh, asset rebalancing uh, mechanism um, swap interface integrate one of your products which you already have built somewhere i, I don't care so uh, for me it's important that uh, fusion is integrated and used somewhere there it makes sense we have also this thing with uh, with the resolvers, which I explained. Oh, no. Actually, we, we were hearing this uh, sound I, I didn't recognize. We have this magic sound um, when it's filled. Uh, so it's filled, and uh, we got 549 uh, US dollars. And it was, um, yeah, it's a little bit below than 595 because uh, it wasn't profitable for anyone to take this aura because they had to pay the gas cost. Yeah. The money is not coming from nowhere. So someone need to pay in, in any time. Yeah, uh, but compared to what if you do it by yourself, you, you you trade by yourself, you pay anyway the gas cost. So it's comfortable in the case also when you have no Ethereum on your wallet. Um, so to the second task, we have uh, our resolvers. <coughs> you can go to you can stake one each tokens. Uh, you can lock up to two years. Uh, with locking two, uh, by two years, you get almost one to one, one, one inch token to one unicorn power, and it decreases in the time. And then you can uh, delegate to, uh, to the resolvers. There are already some. You can also create by your own some. Uh, but you need, of course, you need a lot of delegation power. So we have, we have here top 10. And the uh, top 10, they have. 270,000 unicorn power delegated. So 200,000 of one issues you need theoretically. But you can ask the community, you can ask um, uh, core, core contributors as well to delegate to you. Uh, if, you if you would like to participate here, um, you don't need really money. You just need support from people. Um, so we have this delegation and uh, these people, these companies who run the resolver, they distribute um, um, kind of uh, incentives for people who delegate to them. So it makes no sense for me to delegate to someone uh, just just like that. Yeah. Uh, here you see APR. How much? How many one each tokens the these um, resolvers distribute? 
and based on GCPR, most of the people delegate the, uh, the tokens to earn on that. You can build something on top of this. You can tokenize maybe um, these positions. You can create a maybe pool. That the thing is, every time when I delegate and when I claim the tokens, I need to pay gas, and it's painful on Ethereum right now since the meme meme, meme coins. Um, so maybe a good solution would be to create a smart contract, which is kind of pool. Everyone can participate. Uh, uh, like bring on one each tokens this contract can stake and delegate for specific resolver and also move the delegation based on the APR and also claim rewards and distribute rewards for those who pass participate so this is could be um, one one of um, cool ideas uh, what you can build here and um, we have really nice prices so for the for the fusion integration for the first pl place you can get 4,000 West dollars it's a lot Back to my times, I, I was lucky to get, um, if on Ethereum New York I got on 350 bucks to be able to pay the airplane ticket to Stuttgart back. So, <laughs> when we have gold one inch. Um, but nowadays, yeah, it's really nice to see that uh, also other projects uh, offer, offer nice, um, nice bounties, uh, which you can really easily earn by just not sleeping two days. Uh, yeah, and open track, just come with what you think. Uh, I can get, give you some. Um, give, I can give you some example. I'm running out, out of time. Um, we are working on P2P network. Uh, P2P net network for storing um, uh, decentralized mana limit orders, like mesh network, uh, and fusion orders. And if you uh, if you build something like this on Hackathon over two nights, I would appreciate. And you can see a nice nice bounty for two two thousand five hundred US dollars. Um, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, I will stay outside. And uh, yeah, we have here a booth. You can also come to our booth and speak with us as well.